Hello. Hello. Come here. Come on. It's amazing how tame rock foxes are these days. Come here. Spice one tent, the fox tamer. Hello! Duck! How Come on! This is my realise I've never actually talked about foxes as such in a vlog. Because in recent years they've got this stereotype of fuck of, uh, of basically I'm lucky to be alive getting that close to a fox because they are dangerous and if I had a baby, gone. If people leave food out, they will come to people's houses and gardens and look for food. They're not stupid, they're extremely intelligent animals. Now, what's happened in recent years is a couple of them have got very brazen and gone into people's houses and bitten their children. Now, this has been blamed because they're just nasty, horrible animals. They're just going to slaughter your children. Oh, God, they'll be in there killing your kids before you know it. But apparently that generally happens when the baby has shit in its nappy. And if you ever noticed this, the foxes don't mind a shitty nappy. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why they get attracted into the house. Because it's very unusual for a wild animal to want to walk into a house. I mean, okay, as I say, they're getting very brazen, as that one was. But they're not very big. <laughs> they don't pose a huge threat to anyone. No, I suppose baby. If you've got a shitty nappy and your parents aren't clever enough to, you know, keep you safe. Because let's face it, if a fox can walk in and bite your baby, well then Jimmy Savile can get in and touch him. Well, okay, maybe it's a bit more difficult for Jimmy now he's dead, but you know, there's Rolf Harris. Oh God. So on one hand, you've got people saying, foxes are dangerous. They should, people need to get rid of them in the cities, filthy, disgusting animals, vile creatures, everywhere, shitting on everything. Well, they were here before us. But what more do you want me to say? They were here before us, deal with it. Uh, there's plenty of foxes on the island that I'm about to go on to where I live, and I've always loved them. I had a run in with a fox down an alleyway once when I was about four years old. It growled at me a little bit, and then it ran off, because naturally that's what they want to do. They don't stand and fight, they'll just fucking run. And yet, on the other hand, you got everyone saying fox hunting, oh that's horrible, how could you do that to that poor little animal? Now I agree, I don't agree with fox hunting, I think it's wrong, in the sense of using dogs and horses and all that, because it is the most inefficient, over the top fucking way of catching a fox, and crawl, in the end of it. And it has been made illegal, but it seems that some people don't actually want to listen to that, because some of the, you know, the, them that do it, think they're above the fucking law. But if foxes need to be culled, a man with a rifle is the obvious solution to that problem. He can do it humanely, he can do it cleanly, and he also can do multiple. Because if you want to cull foxes, you're not after killing one after a long fucking chase. You want to kill lots of them to try and get the numbers down. So a man with a rifle is always going to be a better option. And as I say, I totally disagree with fox hunting with hounds. It's just, it's old fashioned, and the fact that they're trying to, to, to use all these arguments about, oh, culling foxes and keeping the numbers down, I'm sure they're the people that would agree with the whole, oh, babies, there are all the babies, the foxes eat all the babies, oh, my children are all eaten by foxes, all of them, every last one. But we know it's just, it's just bollocks, it doesn't happen that often. I mean, obviously, to the person, if you know someone who's been bitten by a fox, attacked by a fox, you are going to think, ah, horrible creature. Call her a hedgehog, see if it tries to, well, okay, no, maybe not a hedgehog, it's a fair point, it might just curl up in a ball. Okay, call her a badger. That badger will bite the shit out of you. Look at Terry Nutkins. Do you remember Terry Nutkins? Why has he got virtually no fingers? Because he was trying to look after an otter, bless the little otter, and he bit all his fucking fingers off. So... Don't look at foxes as being, oh, this mean and nasty animal. It's just an animal. It will do what an animal does to try and protect itself. I know, I'm going to name him Gus the Fox after, uh, Gus the Fox off Twitter. If you haven't followed him, he's a fox and he's a complete cunt. 
ask him. But anyway, that yeah, it's just sort of some thoughts I had is when when little Gus came running out. Sometimes it's hard to explain why what I have to do is go and buy up women's clothing and put it on. But in this situation is what I have to do.